before we start the video here, just take a minute, pause it, and try and understand what this chart is saying. Coming up in the video, the main parameter you're going to want to watch is the yellow EV horsepower output line. That is the main parameter you're going to want to watch. You're going to want to watch the yellow line and how much EV horsepower output it is outputting. And this will relate back to the horsepower parameters of the max and weak EV state in this chart. So for example, the weak EV state at five of eight charge bars, you will get nine to six horsepower hybrid battery output in electric mode before the combustion engine kicks on to assist. If this were the max EV state, you'll get 28 horsepower hybrid battery output in electric mode before the engine kicks on to assist. Hopefully this will start to make sense in the remainder of the video. So I'm just gonna show this one more time here. I'm going to accelerate here and get up to speed. I'm in the weak EV state right now. You can see how the engine kicked on with little pedal pressure. I'm going to let my foot off the gas. I'm going to slowly accelerate on the pedal. You can see the engine kicked on at about 9 horsepower and the 56% state of charge. That is the weak EV state. Now we're going to switch the EV mode button on and that's going to mimic the max EV state. So now I'm going to do this same level of acceleration. And you can see how the Prius just keeps powering in EV mode. It keeps continuing upward as I increase the pedal angle, the EV horsepower output increases and it continues to increase to that orange line. I can continue to accelerate and stay in EV mode this entire time. That is essentially what I mean when I say the max EV state. It's just that same behavior exists outside of using the EV mode button. And now we're going to hit three of eight charge bars here in a second. At three of eight charge bars, just like we hit here, that is the point the engine would normally kick on in the max EV state. And then it would behave exactly like it is now, just it would behave exactly like the weak EV state until it got up to four of eight charge bars again. And it would repeat that process until it either got a higher state of charge, it would continually, no matter how many times or what you're doing, as soon as you hit four of eight charge bars, it would start using EV mode aggressively again. So how did I figure all this out? Well, you see how I'm driving along here, this little subdivision? I deliver to these mailboxes every day. I know exactly how it's supposed to feel, say when going from this mailbox I'm passing to the next mailbox, or from this mailbox here to the next one after that. I would generally get an idea of how the hybrid system would behave delivering to all these mailboxes based on things like state of charge. And I would be going by these mailboxes here and I'd be using EV mode and my Prius would just use EV mode flawlessly. I'd just easily accelerate from spot to spot here down this little downward trend, stay in EV mode. Then one day after a 12 volt disconnect, that all changed. It started using the engine way more between these mailboxes. And that happened about three years ago. Well, it's actually happened multiple times, but three years ago is when it became permanent. And since three years ago, I've been trying as hard as I can to figure out why this happens and what could cause this. I've been on a quest to solve this ever since. But because of this behavior, where I'm now in the weak EV state where the priest just uses the engine all the time like it does now. I lose an average of 10 MPG on mail routes due to stopping at all these mailboxes you see on each side of the road and in the country or whatever, etc. I lose 10 MPG a day. And that equates to, on my 106 mile mail route, between three and five dollars of gas loss a day. I mean, that adds up to a lot over time. I'm, at this point, probably between $3,500 and $4,000 out because 
of this weak EV state that manifested itself after I disconnected my 12 volt battery. I drive a hyper specific drop to be able to notice this behavior really well and describe it hyper accurately. But the real question is, have other Prius owners noticed this exact same behavior? Can we find these other posts? Can we find these other posts that describe this phenomenon to make light of that I am not completely crazy, that I'm not just some schizo on the internet like RJ Parker says, that I believe this is some sort of deep state conspiracy to reduce Prius MPG and for big oil to make record profits. And yes, we can find these posts, but one thing we have to keep in mind is that this weak EV state low MPG mechanism only affects city traffic. It has zero bearing on speeds above 40 miles per hour or highway speeds because there is a point between 40 and 45 miles per hour where the Prius transmission has to run the engine. And because it has to run the engine, it reverts to using the same response curve, same software, same engine output, same EV output for both the max and weak EV state after that point. So we are only worried about the city traffic MPG city speed mpg aspect of this and unless you do a lot of city driving it won't affect your mpg significantly i've actually found 24 plus posts of what i believe are describing this weak ev state low mpg mechanism but there are a few that describe it very accurately so i'm just going to go through a couple just for the sake of keeping this video short and it should lend good evidence to the fact that this weak EV state low MPG mechanism could be and likely is a very real phenomenon. So the first post we're going to go through is called Significant Reduction in MPG Between 2004 and 2005 Prius. We own a 2004 and 2005 Prius. The 2004 Prius has around 20k miles and the 2005, the new Prius, has about 3k. 2004 Prius has been averaging between 47 and 52 mpg on every tank full. Ever since I got the new 2005 Prius, I noticed that I was getting significantly less miles per gallon than the 2004. 5.2 mpg less. Then he goes on to say later. One last point. I did notice that when I press on the accelerator, the 2005 engine whooshes much more quickly than when I do the same on the 2004. I don't know if that makes sense, but it seems that the 2005 revs up much faster. So let's look at bullet point two under the weak EV state, where it says favors combustion engine for power, re decreased pedal angle for EV mode. That is what he is experiencing here. In his older 2004 Prius of 30k miles, he's experiencing the max EV state, where at bullet point two, it says favors HV battery for power increased pedal angle for EV mode. So that engine whooshing he's experiencing, saying that the engine revs up much more quickly than when I do the same on the 2004, he is making a comparison between the max and weak EV state at essentially what is bullet point two there. He also hits the other bullet points of weak EV mode usage and reduced city MPG. He then goes on to say later again, I believe I have an idea of why we may be getting significantly worse mileage on this car, allowing for the braking period. My wife drove the car today for part of the trip and remarked that the engine seems to race when she lightly presses the accelerator. Her car's engine, the 2004, does not race unless she presses harder on the accelerator in her car than she does in mine. In the 2005, the engine winds up quickly just pressing lightly on the accelerator, again, reiterating bullet point two of the weak EV state favors combustion engine for power, and decreased pedal angle for EV mode. They're reiterating, essentially, the difference between the max and weak EV state. One favors the HV battery for power, one favors the combustion engine for power. One has a higher pedal angle for EV mode, one has a decreased pedal angle for EV mode. They are describing point 0.2 on my graphic here of the EV states to a T. And if you go back and compare the description Davey K gave in his post against my two short mail route clips I showed earlier, you can see for the weak EV state, the engine revs up much quicker with little pedal pressure. And for the EV mode button simulating the max EV state, Prius stays in EV mode throughout the entire set of mailboxes. 
So Davy K essentially made an accurate comparison between the max and weak EV state. And this post is almost two decades old at this point. This phantom software in the hyper control ECU of the Prius has been there this entire time, as I describe in bullet point four of my max and weak EV state similarities graphic. The next and final post we'll go through before this short video is called Possible Undiscovered Performance and MPG Issues with Prius V by Chiral626. This is for a Gen 3 Prius V. So this does not just affect Gen 2s, it also affects Gen 3s. And this post is what solidified for me that this phantom low MPG mechanism of the weak EV state could potentially be a widespread issue and that I was also not the only one who began to lose their mind trying to solve it. And there's a lot of posts to go through in this one. I actually have nine different tech screenshots from this post alone because Cairo goes so crazy trying to solve everything. We're just gonna hit on the main points. So Cairo 626, he worked at a car dealer in California and he had two Prius Vs. He noticed both had weak EV output and poor 35 MPG. Soon he purchased a couple more Prius V and noticed that both of those had great MPG of about 45 to 50 and good EV acceleration. But the other two Prius gave really bad MPG of about 35 to 36 and he nicknamed them trailer Prius. He decided to keep one of the Priuses, the Prius Vs, and try and solve the problem for himself. And he absolutely began to lose his mind trying to solve this issue. He did everything he could. Every single, nearly every single maintenance procedure you could think of he did it. He replaced the engine, transmission, battery, brakes, alignment, everything. He, he tried everything to solve this issue. And at, at the point where he states a line here that stood out to me, he says, and the most important is main engine computer. I thought that all the software lays in the power management control ECU, but I was wrong. Replacement of power management control didn't change anything, meaning I need to change engine ECU. For now, I still have no idea how to do it. So he believed at this point, it was a difference in the software and the, or the computer regulating the output of the engine and the hybrid battery power acting differently because one had good EV mode usage and one had weak EV mode usage and ran the engine more. And then after that, he began to focus on the actual transmission being the problem. Somehow the transmission where the power output was being delivered and decided upon was the issue. But he was actually right originally. It's just that he missed a concept he believed that replacing the computer would fix the issue. But the problem is both of the computers have the latent weak EV state software in them. And whenever you reset the computer by disconnecting a 12 volt or doing a hyper control ECU update, the computer software resets to the weak EV state, which is why replacing the computer didn't work. And the software in the computers themselves were the problem. As the post began to wrap up, uh, Kai04 says, also being an ECTV gearbox, its ratios are controlled by the ECU. Might be the same gearbox, but with different version of software. If I remember what you told us, you switched engine and gearboxes from non-trailer to your car. Nothing changed. I think the answer is software. Kai04 gave Chiral626 the answer, but Chiral626 could not register this or conceive that this might be the issue, when really Kyle 4 was essentially stating what I believe is the issue as well. It is phantom software in the hybrid control ECU, or what Cairo 626 calls the power management control ECU. After reading through this post several times at all the different uh, sections of it where Cairo 626 was posting, he was describing the weak EV state hyper accurately. Cairo 626's post made me realize that I was not alone in trying to solve this issue, and that he also had been berated by the Prius community for his crazy rantings about low MPG that he seemingly couldn't prove and come up with no answer for. And I felt so strongly about this, I had to make a meme that Cairo 626 is the one.
how. He is the one. And he lost his mind trying to solve this problem because he knew the behavior was here. And at one point he states, I am going crazy about it and still trying to resolve this problem. The most interesting is that somebody who should know about this defect is just sitting in a room quietly and doesn't share or explaining what can be wrong. There is some truth to that statement. Somebody at Toyota does know exactly why this happens. Whether they know that it manifests itself affecting thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of Prius every day, we don't truly know. But I believe there is a completely logical engineering reason for this. It's just, for whatever reason, Toyota has never explained it, and they may not even realize that this weak EV software state can persist like it does. It's just Cairo 626 lost his mind trying to solve this problem, and so have I, and as many others have noticed as well. It's just that nobody has accurately described and really brought to the forefront a good, accurate description for this issue. I am trying to be that person that brings this issue to the forefront, not only to the Prius community, but hopefully to Toyota themselves and to get them to do something about this. I am continuing to work on a comprehensive post that will be full of graphics and videos and deep lengthy explanations that only probably 0.01% of people will read, but that's what this is going to take to make other Prius owners and Toyota realize that this is an issue. With help from the Prius community, I can prove these max and weak EV states exist. I have already devised a way for other Prius owners to test their Prius exactly like I have done mine in the video showing the EV output. I currently have a working Gen 3 and Gen 2 chart within the app I have shown in this video for measuring data. I will soon be making a post on this thread about how to measure data using this app in the video called real-time charts. I'm hoping other Prius owners will partake in that and this can lend evidence to that these max and weak EV states exist. I also have to give a special shout out to user at dark landscape who has been instrumental in helping me make these charts work by testing their Gen 3 Prius all the way across the United States. So I hope this video, at the very least, proves that I am not crazy and that I'm not just schizoing out on Prius chat. There likely is some real foundational reasoning to what I'm trying to say, even though I haven't put it together in a coherent way yet. But that is coming. I guess for now, stay tuned for the real-time charts testing update. And if you have an Android phone, the Torque app and the Real Chime Charts app plus an OBD2 scanner, you can test your Prius just like I have in the video. So that's all I got. And just please don't think I'm crazy, RJ Parker. I promise you I'm not.